Hey, we're back with another episode of Bar Downloadable for you. I'm Marissa Roberto, and here's what's been happening in the gaming world since we last had a chat. For a while now, the streaming world was missing two of its biggest stars, Shroud and Dr. Disrespect. Dr. Disrespect was permanently banned by Twitch, and Shroud was let go from his contract from Mixer because, well, they shut down. After they each took breaks to figure out next steps, both streamers got back to work in front of massive audiences. Dr. Disrespect was the first to return, and did so on YouTube. In Doc's first stream back, viewership peaked at 510,000. Since then, he's also streamed with PewDiePie, who has over 100 million subscribers on YouTube. As for Shroud, he had been teasing his return for a while. But finally, he dropped a teaser video saying he'd be going back to where it all started, Twitch. Shroud returned with a new look, but same old shooting skills. The man with a newly minted goatee peaked at 517,000 views, just ahead of Doc, and got 13,000 subscribers in his first hour live. Twitch has got to be happy that they have one of their biggest stars back, making all kinds of money for them. Even with the return of notable shooter pros Dr. Disrespect and Shroud, a new game has taken the streaming world by storm. Fall Guys Ultimate Knockout takes a unique approach to the battle royale genre. It's like the MXC or Wipeout of video games. A series of contestants get dropped into bizarre competitions or a hectic obstacle course. The goal is to qualify for the next round until only one remains. One of the big reasons for their blow up is their Twitter account, which doesn't hold any punches. Just ask Tim the Tapman, who has been the brunt of the majority of their jokes. Unfortunately for Tim, Nick Merckx has evidence that Tim might not be the best to ever run the course. Lime is the Tim. thing. <gasps> Tim. Tim. Tim, 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 With all that being said, it's time for Marissa's challenge, okay? Yeah, me. That's right. I've yet to play a single game of Fall Guys, just haven't downloaded it yet, all right? Just haven't gotten around to it. The challenge to qualify for the final round of my first ever game. Time for the challenge. Okay, oh, we can't go that way, okay. Oh jeez, oh god, okay, let's go this way. Okay friends, let's work together. Yes, let's work together. Yes! <sighs> okay, let's, let's just be friends. Oh god, let's just be friends. Okay, oh my god, okay. Oh jeez, okay. <laughs> okay, I qualified. <sighs> Oh my gosh, this looks really hard. No! Okay. What happens now? Oh, jeez. Oh my gosh, where do we go? Oh god, oh god, I'm gonna lose. Oh, jeez. Oh, I don't know. Okay. It, there was a. Kate, just chill out. Oh my god. Oh, I didn't make it past the second round. The final story today is an odd one, but one that I definitely popped some popcorn for over the weekend. Ooh, a little tea sip. Ooh, this is juicy. Apple and Google have removed Fortnite from their respective app stores after they promoted direct payment through Epic Games instead of through the iOS or Google app stores. In retaliation for getting booted off those app stores, Epic Games fired back by suing both Google and Apple. And Epic didn't stop there. They also dropped a 1984 parody commercial directed at Apple. In game. That means everyone who went to go play Fortnite saw it. And that's a lot of people. Of course Apple wouldn't take this without a response. Not sure Madden 21 is the game that would replace Fortnite. It's not really the same cup of tea. Same ball game, you feel. Anyways, this drama is still in the early phases, so save some of the popcorn for later on. And of course, we'll update you as soon as we know more. That's it for this week. Be sure to drop us a like and a comment below. I want to know what you think about this Fortnite Apple Google drama. And if you're excited to see Doc and Shroud back, you know I am. Talk soon.